If you know a young history buff, we have got just the thing for you. A new book. It's called Exploring the White House Inside America's Most Famous Home. It gives kids and adults a glimpse into 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. And joining us now is best-selling author and political journalist Kate Anderson Brower. Kate, good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. It looks festive behind you, by the way. Uh, we're so used to hearing about the political side of the White House every day. But a lot of people have to remember it's also a home, you know, where families live there. The idea for a children's book is pretty cool about as far as that part is concerned. What gave you the idea? Well, I wrote an adult book called The Residence about uh, the butlers, the housekeepers. I interviewed more than 50 of them, the people who make the White House run behind the scenes. And they're this incredibly devoted, uh, dedicated group of people. And I thought, you know, I have kids of my own now, and they're very interested in American history. And I want to get kids to love history and present it in a fun and interesting way. And what better way than to talk about growing up in the White House, the history of the house itself, and of the resident staff and the first ladies, including Michelle Obama, Laura Bush, and um, and some of the people who really operate in the shadows, these White House resident staffers who are there for transition day. They're going to be there uh, for this upcoming transition day, when inauguration day, when a new president and first lady move in. So it's an interesting time to be talking about. It. And, you know, you mentioned it. So you've talked to about 50 staffers who've worked in the White House residence. I've gotten to meet some of these folks over different administrations, and they serve the president regardless of politics or party. And I think that's a terrific lesson that our kids can learn from that. It is. And it's really wonderful. It's this rare universe of people who are not partisan in Washington, right? And they are so devoted to their jobs and they work incredibly long hours. Um, and many of them um, are, are just love the family. They will do anything to protect the family. And, you know, you could see uh, George H.W. Bush and Lindsay Little, who worked in the housekeeping department, they would play horseshoes together you know, when the weather was nice. They become actual friends. You know, um, when, when one of the butlers passed away, uh, you had Michelle Obama and Laura Bush actually talk about him at his funeral. Mm. Um, and, and, you know, this is a rare group of people that we don't get to see. And I think it's an interesting way to get into the history of the house. It's more personal and I think more meaningful. You've also included some anecdotes and fun facts, especially about kids that used to live in the White House. Is it true that one had their own high school prom there? It's been How fun. Yeah, Susan Ford in 1975, she had her prom in the East Room of the White House wow. and they paid for it themselves. They, um, She and her classmates had bake sales and they made the floral arrangements themselves by hand so that the taxpayers wouldn't have to pay for it, which is fun. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Can you imagine? Where'd you have prom, Mom? <laughs> oh, the White House. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kate Anderson Brower, thank you so much for talking with us. Again, the book is called Exploring the White House Inside America's Most Famous Home. It's available starting tomorrow.